everybody, Bob here, and welcome to another Making Stuff video. And today, this video is about this, digital calipers. If you're a maker like me, you probably have got at least one pair of these. Now, these are the El Cheapos, and right here on top, you may or may not know this, there's a little data port there. And what this does is it allows you to plug a cable in here, and then you can get your readings here. You can send that out to a serial port, whatever you want to do with it. So the thing about it is the cable costs more than the calipers do, and they're very hard to find. So I figured instead of trying to order one and wait a, wait a week for it to be delivered in the mail, I would just make my own. So what I have here is a little 3D printed plug that goes into the digital calipers. And the way I made this, this is very, this one's kind of crude here, but it works and it actually works quite well. And if you can see here, there's four little grooves in this plug. And what I've done is I've just taken some leads that I cut off of some resistors or capacitors. I don't know what it was. Um, I keep a little tray with these leads in it so that I can make stuff uh, when I'm prototyping uh, a circuit board. Uh, it works great. Those things come in handy. Um, definitely don't throw them away. They have lots of different uses. But here, I've got this 3D printed and it's kind of hard to see, but you can, you can see the grooves. Now there's four grooves in here. It turns out I only needed three of the pins to get all the information that I need. So what I did is I just stuck the pins in those grooves and then I put a little blob of hot glue here on the end. And then I've soldered some wires to the leads. So uh, here's another little thing here. There you go. There's a groove there. There's a small little groove on the sides right there. Just looks like a little line, but that's a little half a millimeter groove. And that is necessary. And what you do is you just slide that sucker in there. There you go. Now I can get the data off of these calipers through this little port right here. So let me hook up the oscilloscope and I'll show you what we're getting here. Okay, so I've got this hooked up to the data line on this plug. And you can see when I move these calipers, you can see the bits going high and low here on the screen. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can, there it'll focus on the oscilloscope. So I'm going to move this and you can see that slide in there. So if you want to get this information into your Arduino or PC, it can be done. But we're going to have to do a little bit of programming and we're also going to have to make a logic level shifter because these are 1.5 volt and the Arduino is 3.3 or 5 volts. So we don't want to be running uh, 3 volts into a 1.5 volt circuit board. So uh, we'll go over that here in a second. Okay, so I've got my logic level board built here and it is real simple. It is just two transistors. Those are NPN transistors and two little resistors. And that's now taking my 1.5 volt uh, logic level off the calipers. And I've got this hooked up to a 3.3 volt lithium battery. So let me swing this around here. There we go. As you can see, I'm running one volt per division on the oscilloscope. So here's my scale. We've got one, two, three, roughly three and a half, somewhere about. So that's right on par with my 3.3 volt lithium battery. And the reason I had to build this logic level converter is we're going to hook this up to our an Arduino. And on the Arduino, for it to register a pin high, it has to be half of the input voltage. So if I'm running that at three volts, that Arduino at three volts, I'm going to have at least one and a half volts before it's going to recognize a pin is high. Now the calipers are one and a half volts, so by theory it should work, 
but I'm sure as the battery gets old in that caliper and gets run down, you, you run the risk of now it's not enough for their Arduino to register high or low. So just to be safe and for accuracy and so we don't screw things up, um, this logic level board is the way to go. All right, there's one other quick thing I wanted to show you guys here. I've cleaned this plug up a little bit and what, the, what I did was I put some heat shrink on each individual pin and then I put one big piece over the whole assembly and I just want to point out I used hot glue when I made this and once I got started I realized that probably wasn't the best choice. Uh, probably some super glue would be better and the reason is when you go to start soldering on those pins and the heat gun for the heat shrink that glue wants to get soft and then your pins want to lift up off of here. So what I had to do is I had to clamp this down I had to clamp it when I was soldering just to hold the pins in the plastic and also when I was doing the heat gun for the heat shrink. So what I've got now is pretty much a reusable plug. I don't have to worry about the wires shorting out. Um, it goes in and out of the port quite easily. And one other thing is when uh, if you decide to make one of these, just be sure and don't use too big of a wire here because when this goes in here I can't really show it on camera but all it's doing is it's making a contact with the traces on the board inside the calipers so if you have a big a wire that's too big and you go and you shove this in there you could scrape and uh, remove that trace off of that PCB so that's one thing you want to be careful of is uh, use definitely use a small enough wire you know, big enough that it makes connections, but not too big that it's, you're going to scrape the traces off of the board inside here. So if you'd like to 3D print your own data plug, check out this link right here. I'll have all of the files you can download where you can 3D print your own. And also, don't miss part two of this video where I'll go over the software and we'll do some fun things with those digital calipers. And if you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Put your comments in the video and please subscribe and as always, keep making stuff. Make your own 3D, print, 3D printed caliper cable plug, digital caliper, caliper, digital caliper, plug. digital caliper, digital caliper, digital caliper, printed digital caliper, digital caliper plug. The digital caliper plug. I can't do it. Digital caliper plug.